Uh, five or six years ago, we were invited to Maui. Uh, they had arranged for the Dalai Lama to come, and we were associated with the uh, Maui Dharma Center, and they asked us if we would come. And so my month long, we got there at the beginning of April, my month long was uh, our project was to help prepare the Dharma Center for the visit of the Dalai Lama. And one of the things that apparently has to happen, there's a red carpet laid out, and only the Dalai Lama can walk on it. Yeah. <laughs> when we were rolling the carpet back up at the end of it, my daughter had this great idea to cut it up in pieces and, and sell it on eBay. Uh, but um, I guess that's not part of the Buddhist tradition. But we were uh, laying the carpet down, and it was, it was you know, about I don't know, two and a half feet wide, maybe three feet wide, and there were four or five strips of it, and we had purchased peel and stick tape. Now the Dharma Center had peeling stick stick tape peel and stick tape. <laughs> um, but it was there was no edges on it, so you had to read it was a lot of work and time was getting we were getting pressed for time and uh, one of the participants in a month long walked out to the police officers out front and said, Look, we're part of this and back at our where we're staying, there's tape, and we have to have the tape. Because, I mean, putting the carpet down, I really didn't want the Dalai Lama tripping over the carpeting. I thought that that would have been a little silly. Uh, so she got in, the, the policeman said, well, let's go. I'll get you over there. And uh, she was from England, and, and the policeman turned the car around, headed down uh, Main Street, Baldwin Avenue, I think it's called, uh, uh, towards Hana Highway. And he said, hmm, this seems pretty important. He said, you want sirens? She said, yeah, he said, lights? She said, yes, of course, I would love that. And so they raced off down to where we were staying, down on Hana Highway, uh, with the lights flashing and the uh, sirens blaring, to get some two-sided tape. Uh, they got back, we got the, the uh, carpet all assembled right, and all taped down safely, and, and I got out of my work clothes and into some presentable clothes when the Dalai Lama got there. And I don't think... He took two or three steps on that. Uh, in kind of the same vein, they had uh, paid thousands of dollars for a throne, for this big throne that set him up high. And somebody had set a, a real comfortable old chair down near the bottom of the stage, and Dalai Lama looked at it too. He said, nah, I think I'll sit here. And then he climbed into the comfortable chair and he folded his legs underneath us, underneath him, and he and he talked for quite some time. And it was quite an honor. Uh, he seemed to have a great sense of humor. He greeted people personally, and uh, like I said, two or three steps on that red carpet. That was it. <laughs> have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com